How's it, Matrix? So you're most likely preparing for a maths lit paper tomorrow. Let me try my best to ease some of your worries and impart a bit of goon, goon wisdom, shall we say. So your maths lit paper comprises of two main sections. These two main sections, finance and data handling. Finance is the big one. Count 60% and data handling 35%. Probability is 5% in both papers, in paper one and in paper two. Uh, look, it's it's so minor, I'm not even gonna highlight it. Note that there's a plus or minus um, percentage leeway. So finance could be 55, it could be 65. It really just depends, but it's gonna be, depends, but it's in and around 60 and data handling being 35. So just the structure of your paper. Question one, some really basic stuff. Solid 30 marks, could be 25, could be 35, there's a bit of leeway, and it's going to be questions from both sections. Uh, usually two markers, so like two, 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 nothing really intense. Question two is definitely going to be finance, question three, data handling, and question four and or question five is going to be this integrated question where we utilize both our finance skills and data handling skills. I, I really hope you, you have those skills. If you don't, then, well, you, you're a bit cooked. But there's still time, okay? You can always uncook yourself. Probability, uh, it will be examined in the context of one or more of the other questions. So remember, your paper is 150 marks and you've got 180 minutes. In other words, you've got 1,2 minutes per mark. So for example, if you've got a, let's say a five mark question, you would need to do that question in six minutes. Quick maths. Now, just a, a small discussion of the sections. So finance, look, in finance, we took a good look at financial documents, namely, you know, tax documents, employee income tax, all that good stuff and loan documents. Maybe you got a, a home loan or something like that. It's, it's really not all that difficult. It's just a lot of information. You have to sift through it. Just a bunch of two and three markers. Maybe there's interest, more interest calculations that you have to do. Then regarding tax, you know, maybe you've got a VAT question, maybe a bit of UIF. You have to calculate rebates. Maybe I give you, um, you know, the income tax, personal income tax of like a 68 year old, and you have to factor in the primary and secondary rebates and calculate their tax payable. Regarding tariff systems, I know a lot of you find this quite irritating, but you know, the electricity, water, sewerage, that kind of stuff, it's really not all that tricky. Just be very, very careful, especially when calculating those percentages. Just know what you put in the numerator, what you put in the denominator. And then we've got those income, expenditure, profit and loss type questions. It's giving accounting, it's giving EMS. So just a comparison of income and expenditure, uh, we look at budgets, which are, you know, proposed calculations and just calculating, okay, what is our profit here? What is our loss here? And that kind of leads on to cost price and selling price, marker, profit percentages, all that good stuff. And we've also got a bit of break even here too. Next, data handling. So some developing questions, so like national and global issues, collecting data, how have we done it, questionnaires, surveys, all that good stuff, uh, classifying and organizing data. So sorting through numerical data versus categorical data, uh, discrete and continuous, all that good stuff, tally systems, class intervals, you know, that crocodile mouth, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and just some summarizing data here and there. So we've got our quartiles, you know, the whole box and whisker diagram, five number summary, you've got your minimum, your maximum, Q1, Q2, Q3, the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, also known as the median, and the 75th percentile too. Um, those are measures of central tendency and all that good stuff. And then representing data, pie charts, histograms, line graphs, broken line graphs. You know, if I was a line graph, I'd be a, I'd be a broken line graph. Yeah, go in school going through the most. Then you've got your scatter plot. Um, the core maths kids also do this, like the least squares regression line and all of that. Um, really nothing too hectic. I think data handling is uh, considerably easier than finance. IMHO in my, in my humble opinion. Uh, and then the usual probability. Numerator over denominator times by 100. Give it in decimals, give it in percentage, give it in fractions. Just be very careful of all that good stuff. Now back to finance, interest and banking, you've got your higher purchase kind of stuff, residuals, so what's going to be left after the end of that payment period, balloon payments, last payment you make at the end, typically a lump sum, we've got loans, interest rates, interest payments, so like simple and compound interest, 
all of that stuff. Uh, banking, things to do with investments, some basic insurance plan, plans. It's, it's nothing really hectic. Um, and then inflation, you know, the, the gradual increase of goods and services. You'll have to interpret it. Exchange rates, you know, South African rand versus the British pound versus the American dollar and so on and so on. Um, and that is about it for paper one. Finance is the big one here. So look, if you're battling to figure, okay, should I start with finance? Should I start with data handling? Go finance. Put a lot of work into finance. Because, well, if your finance section is strong, your paper one mark is going to be good as well. Because that is the majority of the marks. Those are where the majority of the marks are coming from. So yeah, just a little recap of paper one. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Keep going. Keep moving. Take a look at some videos on this channel. Use all the resources you have. Use your textbook. Whatever it is, but do the very best that you can. That's going to be your Friday paper. And then you've got the weekend to prepare for paper two. I'll see you guys. Happy studying.